Hello everybody and welcome backward. It is onward and upward to the fourth level of the power tower. I am actually liking the redesign of the power tower. Very good. And of course we get this one, the infamous puzzle here. Let's see if we can get this done. I'm curious if this, this looks like right there in front of me, that little box thing looks different like it looks like a vending machine or something well hello there another challenger please come in hello you're trying to reach the top of the power tower i assume well you'll have to get past my challenge first haha <laughs> you better just turn back because you'll never break my code I'm not going anywhere. I'll take your challenge. Hmm. Okay. If you say so, come follow me then. Here's what we're going to do. I will enter a code in my computer by selecting four colors and you will try to break this code in 10 tries or less. I slipped the collar to fuses in your pocket. You didn't even notice that. Hehe. <laughs> How could you ever break my code? Don't give me that look. You should be grateful. You need them to input your code. You do this by putting four fuses in the sockets in this door. And then, when you want to submit a guest code, press this red button. After which a current will run through the door. If the correct fuses are in the correct position, the door will open. But I don't think that will happen. This screen will indicate how many fuses are correct, in the wrong position, or not present at all. The green check mark indicates correct fuses, the orange arrow indicates wrong positions, the red cross indicates fuses not present in my code. Maybe that sounds a bit too easy, huh? No worries, I'll take care of that. He's a little crazy, I think. That's it. Still not too late to give up though. I'm entering the code now, don't peek. <laughs> Go ahead, try all you want. You'll never break this code. Okay, I gotta see how many fuses we have first. One, two, three, four. Looks like we have six fuses right now. The number of fuses depend on the difficulty setting. So easier is gonna have less. If you have easy, normal, hard, or insane, they will all have different number of fuses. So that may be why you're not seeing as many fuses in your game as you see here. I usually just go down the list here and put in all four of those so that we can get an idea of what is in here one is in the right position one is in the wrong position and two of those colors are not even used at all i am going to take all of them out except for the green one because we have two more fuses to see the yellow one and the purple one let's see what that does Okay, we got three. You thought I was just staying here. I will turn up the difficulty a bit. Uh-oh. You have 20 seconds to change the fuses. That's not good. Okay, let's throw in... We two of the ones in the first one. I almost know the callers. And that's the first step here, is knowing all four callers. There, oh, okay. So we still got three in the wrong position and orange is not the right collar. So let's take that one out and throw in red. Green is definitely not the one in the right position. If I'm gonna put in red, I probably should put it in the position it was in, red. So I know yellow is not in the right position either. 
and let's change put purple over here and then green here and the reason I did that is because when I as I'm going down through this green has always been in the same position we went from a one in the correct position to three in the not correct position so that means that the green one over here because it stayed in the same position is actually the one that is not in the correct position it must have been this one over here the one in the not correct so that's also why i put red here because red might be in the correct position two in the correct position oh well that makes it a little bit annoying okay so what do we got here we got two in the correct position one color i'm going to say that blue is maybe green is not the right color let's take out i know orange is not the right color let's take out the green and put in blue right where it is and see what that does oh three in the correct and one wrong color we're getting a lot closer wow that is we've got to get this figured out right there i mean this is we're so close here but we still have one wrong collar but which one is the wrong collar No, blue and red both couldn't have been. Yeah, I'm thinking blue and red both couldn't have been in there. Well, okay, hold on. Let's take the yellow out. You see, this is the good thing is you can test some of the stuff there. Yellow is the correct color. and was in the correct position okay. so yellow was the correct color and in the correct position because it went to two to one red and blue both can't be in that position so i'm thinking one of those are wrong what if i took out because they started that's where i put the red and the blue in the first line and there was only one in the correct position. I mean, how many do I have left? I have four left to do. Shoot. What did I do? Blue. I don't think it's the... I don't think that's right. Oh. No, blue must be right. Maybe it's the red that's wrong. My closest guess No. Let's put blue here. What does that give me? That's probably a bad idea. Okay. There we go. Oh gosh, 10 seconds. Oh gosh, what is it? Green, red, okay, I don't think it's red, orange. I don't think it's orange, but we could try. Oh, I can't believe I haven't got this. I didn't think it was orange. I got one more guess. Oh, 
Three are in the right. I really didn't think it was orange. Yeah, it can't be orange. I just, I panicked and threw one in there. I shouldn't have done that. Shoot. If red's not in there, let's say green was the right one. No, blue's actually the right one in the wrong position. No, right one in right position. Here, because it's down here and now, yeah. It's gotta be, we now know that red and orange are not, which makes me think that green is the right one. It's gotta be this way. I think that's it, last chance, we'll see. Oh yes, I did it with my last, last chance available, woo! You broke my code already, I can't, I can't believe it. I'll take those fuses back. I guess I went too easy on you. You got lucky. Next time will be even harder. You won't beat me again. You just wait. One thing you can do, you can challenge them again if you would like to. If you want to learn how to do those a little bit better. It's, it is a tricky game, but I just looking at the numbers and knowing what it is. I think one of the things that helps out is putting the codes or put the fuses in as you have them. I mean, so you put four in and then figure out what that is, what that gives you. And then in the next one, don't use any of the four colors that you put in the first one. Use as much other colors as you can so that you know what colors, you know, it, that helps you because you used all your colors already. Another tip I'd give is don't be afraid to not put four fuses in there. Put three in or two in really does help you figure it out a lot easier. Let's take a peek at five and we'll probably do a couple little, uh, little bit of stuff in here i know that the this is different this is completely redesigned Ooh, i like this we'll do a little bit up here and then it finished up in the next episode because the titan battle will probably be a difficult battle i like the way they did this i really do already i like what i'm seeing here okay but let's look and think this through the only door I have is this one. Oh, and then A on the other side. The A switch is way over there. I found the I switch is over there beside the E door. The F and the zero is over by the A door. There's three A doors. Oh no, just two, I see. I was thinking there's three. So first of all, we have to go through here. That's one thing we have to do. We can go over to, oh, okay. So we can go over and hit that H and go up there, but let's go and check into this A and see what's in here. Let's first look at what we got here. So close to the end. I'm afraid that my Digmaw is not gonna get the levels he needs right here, but we'll see. 22, 23 is definitely a lot higher than he was when I fought him last time. I think the last time I fought him, the Titan is always 25. I think my Digmaw was at 20 and I still was able to barely squeak it out. We get to be really careful here. That kind of hurt. That was 10. I did like 13, I think. Let's go and try again. I don't know if he's gonna use quad ball. Oh, I got to go first that time. That's very helpful. What an annoying one. 
I love this lunar wolf though. It is so cool. It just looks awesome. First time I've I've been able to play with the evolution of Lunar Pup. He electrified himself. I don't think I have anything that would be a ranged attack. I'm tempted to switch over to the Dig Maw. Even the Gauss line probably wouldn't get hurt much by the electricity. The Boulder Barrage, I don't think is considered a touch spell. Ah, like the sandball, the, the tailspin is maybe the double slash, but these two I think are considered like ranged attacks. Too bad that my dig is now shocked. Man, very effective. Uh, it's not much. I didn't expect it to be much. Guild wing. Oh, yeah, yeah, that that thing. I don't know if cut. I don't think cut is. Ooh, agility training? What's that? Speed. Interesting. Not bad. Not bad at all. Ooh, okay, good hit. I don't think you're gonna win this though. Uh, yeah, I'm thinking about doing something a little bit weaker, but you know, it's only gonna save one, so it might not be the best thing. I gotta get this Digma up. Not the best way to. Oh gosh, you got a lot. 948? That's insane. I'm not sure why you got that much. I should work on improving my battle skills instead. Yeah, I think so. Thousand gold, sweet. I like that. I really want my Lunar Wolf to do better. We need to go back up and around and hit H probably there's a level up a lever up here too a yeah that's gonna allow us to get somewhere here I'm just so worried about that getting that digma way too far up ahead Let's see what our lunar wolf can do here Oh, cool. This guy should give us a lot of experience, I believe. He has been in the past so far. I'm so tempted to do that. How that worked so well for that last time. Acid bite is devastating. I don't know what to do here. Yeah, this is gonna be ugly. It's, he's gonna come out and take everything out with his acid bite. Unless maybe I could freeze him or something. Epiphany, okay, good, good. Let's see if we can freeze him. He still has hazy on him, which is good. Oh, a splash is very effective. He might be some kind of sand type then. I don't know. I don't recall anything what it would have evolved into this crazy, crazy, whatever it is. There we go. That splash took him out pretty good, but that should give me a lot of experience for him. I remember him giving up. Oh, yeah. A thousand experience. Speed attack. Okay, so let's do... HP speed and uh, was it special? I don't remember. We're too close to the end to worry about it right now. 
Luna Wolf's right up there now. Pretty close. A Lamprey. I did have one of those. Well, no, I still have it. My bitter bite evolved into it. Dig Maul again is really what I need right here. I'm hoping to freeze it though. I think that gives him, yeah, he's charged up. I'm not sure if that specifically gives him that uh, electric ability. This may not be a good idea, but let's go ahead and throw him back in. See if he can get this lamprey in, then whatever comes next. Quad bolt, that hurts, yeah. Oh, a double quad hit, ouch. I was hoping you'd get something a little bit better than that. Those two hits there was pretty painful. Oh, just like that, there we go. Up to 21. Awesome. Loving this. They're getting a lot of experience for these. I gotta say a ton of experience. If I hit him with this and don't kill it, we'll see. Maybe switching over to one. Shadow Walker, but Shadow is that gonna be very effective to me too? Yep. So let's go ahead, throw in my brush out. Sure, why not? Because these seem to be really high experience creatures. I'm really surprised at how much experience they're giving. Oh, drain. That works too. <laughs> Very effective drain is uh, wonderful all around. I get healed back up and you die. What do I get out of that oddity? 306. Oh, come on. Thought I got more net. We switch level lever A. Now we actually have to go back here unless, yeah, okay, A is down there. Phoenix Stone. I'm a little hesitant about switching both of these at the same time. But let's see what it does. We might have to go around and play with that. But I need H open again. So we need, oh, look at that. So we're gonna have to go back. It's exactly what I was talking about. There was something that was gonna mess me up. I think I like this level five better than the old level five. It was so hard to see anything in the old level five because everything was, everything was walled off. You had these real narrow corridors and you really couldn't see what you were doing or very far into the world. I like this so much better. I can see different areas and you still have the conveyor belts and the doors. A little tricky. I can see this. Kind of how they've done it here. I is open E. Let's open G here. I do notice that it appears that there is a couple switches for each door or maybe not each door but some doors have two switches let's grab this is E what I want to switch though it's gonna have to be that's where it's leading me 
Okay, will you go back down? Will you look back? There we go. I want to grab that treasure chest before battling him. There, <laughs> the, uh, that's so wrong. I will like to do a combi cake on him. Help out a little bit. He is now 21. Okay, yeah. I guess we could start off with him still. We'll see. This will be our last battle. We'll finish up this in the next episode. And then we will go on to the Titan, which is kind of exciting here. We're getting close to the end of the demo again. Nothing exceptional here, I don't think. A Hound Dose and a Lunar Wolf. Those hazies are kind of neat. I like that idea that it will use more SP. But I should be pretty good with this. He should be able to take him out fairly easy. I almost said fairly and relatively. Try to put those two words together and it didn't work out. Boom. Yeah, boy. If that makes Lunar Wolf going up to 22, then we'll pull out. Oh, so close. Uh, Fiddly, which is a sand type, I believe. We're going to hit him with that fade attack first. Then we'll switch over to somebody else, hoping that it doesn't kill him outright. Increases his attack and his defense. So good for you, Fiddly. What else do we have here? We could do the Frost Shell or the Goss Lime. We get back to that last trainer, then we're gonna have to definitely throw it all on Digmaw. So that he has that a little bit of experience, 24 or 25. I mean, if he's 23, I think we can still make it. I'm not too incredibly worried at 23. That double slash is gonna help us a lot. He didn't give me very much at all for that one. A dig maw. What? Trying to think of what would be good against the dig maw. I don't I don't think I have anything that's oh water wood. Water would have been good against him with the who has a water might Aurora has a water. This should definitely make him frost shell up to 22. That wasn't a hard battle there at all. 944. Some of these seem very 200 for one and then like 900 for the next. I think it depends a lot on the evolution and the specialty of the ones. Like Oddigy might be a special one, so it'll give you a little bit more experience. The dig mall was a evolution up. He probably gave you more experience. That's why he got more experience. So I think it's stuff like that. Oh, frost shells trap. Well, that's not cool. I didn't like that. A drain, I guess. <laughs> I really didn't want frost shell up another level, but frantic mask. I'm not sure what that does and can only use drain <laughs> that's hilarious because like it's not going to help him at all is he still trapped oh man because i could i could use the drain is the only thing i could use yeah that's so funny i don't really want to use it though i don't want Frost Shell to get the experience from him. Oh well. Five hundred and seventy-six. Not gonna give him up to twenty-three, but there we go. I think that's gonna be our episode. I still would like to get Goss Slime and 
Lunar Wolf up to 22, and then we'll focus on a Digmon getting him up. Did I flip this? Let's go ahead and flip that switch and head on down and get ready for the next episode. Oh, that's shut now. We won. We must have already flipped it. I must have accidentally, or not accidentally switched it, but went ahead and flipped it. Oh, that's right, because I went ran by him. I do remember that now. Whew, okay. We're in here, ready for the next episode. Thank you so much for watching. We're going to start here and see how it all ends. Thank you, and I will see you in the next episode. Bye, everybody.